Hey everyone, Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show how to automate emails for when a new item is added to a SharePoint list. And I'm going to be doing this in Power Automate. I make Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, and Teams videos. So if you like those videos, feel free to subscribe. All right, so I'm in my SharePoint right now. We're in the marketing SharePoint. I have this list that you know me and the team have been working on and we're making updates. And I wanna see when every time a new item is added, and I wanna get an email notification for me and the team. So I have a SharePoint list right here, it's called Grocery List. And to do this, we need to go into Power Automate to um, send this email. If you're not familiar with Power Automate, just go into Google, type in Power Automate, and uh, it should be the first link, and you'll have to log in, then you'll go to this screen if you have the license. So if you wanna click on Home, then click on My Flows. We wanna click on New Flow, and this will be an automated cloud flow. You want to type, oh, this is a name. So you can name it whatever you want. A good naming convention that I use would be um, grocery list, new item, automated email. Then maybe list the, uh, sh the SharePoint name. All right, for the flows trigger, we want to do when an item is created. So you wanna choose this one, not when an item is created or modified. Um, I don't wanna do that one because if someone makes an update to an existing, it's gonna send you an email as well. But if you wanna do it for that, you can feel, feel free to click on that option, but I'm not doing that. All right, so when a new item is created, so this will bring you to this screen. When an item is created, we wanna get the site address. So it should automatically show you um, all the SharePoint sites you're associated with. And for me, this one is going to be marketing. And again, it's going to show you all the lists that you have access to within that SharePoint. I'm going to choose grocery list right here. For advanced options, you don't need to do anything. I want to include the whole list. All right. And then uh, after, it's pretty simple. So email, you want to choose the one with the Outlook and not the one with the mail. So the Outlook 365. And it'll be send an email um, parentheses v2 parentheses all right so let me get my email address for the users in your organization it will show here and i believe my i want to email to this user uh, for subject we can do a grocery list new item added marketing airpoint just try to name the subject something similar so you know it's like an automated notification. All right, a new item has been added to the grocery list. I'm going to add some of the details from the list into this email. So here's some details. I wanna include the title. Um, a good way to find out what the title in your SharePoint list is, if you hover over the list, uh, if it has these three buttons associated with the title, I mean the field, it's going to be that it's the title. So in my case, it's food. And I'll just click on title there. And then we have date purchase, purchase, oh, sorry, uh, price of, of item. And then we have quantity of item. Okay. So let's get the date. It's whatever you name it up here. The price of item. Quantity of item. Quantity of items actually. And then we wanna do, I like to include a link to the item as well in my automated emails. So this will be a link to item. It'll be at the dynamic content. Now I'll just say, thanks, Michael. Uh, power automate power automate email here why not all right so this looks good to me so we'll go ahead and save it so when you save flows they will be turned on right away so you don't need to go in here and turn on as you can see uh the button says turn off so that means it's done so let's go ahead and click on new uh, food uh, let's see we got uh ice cream I don't really eat too much, but <laughs> let's add it. Let's see, I got this on Monday. Price of item, we'll do 
Now quantity, let's just say we got one. Click on save. All right, so we should be getting an email in our Outlook shortly. And the flow looks correct to me. There we go, we just got it. So let me uh, go to the run history. All right, as you can see, it took around like a minute, but after that, it was good to go. So as you can see, the item was created and send an email. So let's go in and see how the email looks. All right, a uh, new item has been added to the grocery list. Here's some details below. We got ice cream, uh, data purchase, everything else. And then we got the link to the item. Let me go ahead and copy this, open my web browser. Go ahead and paste this, and it should take us to the item within that SharePoint list. So that's how you create an automated email when a new item is created within a SharePoint list using Power Automate. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe, uh, comment, leave a like on the video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.